In these few steps, I will show you how to create a solid from a faceted STL file. With your STL file available, import the file into Mentat using the import STL option. Select the file and then the most important step is to switch the targeted entities to FEM, which is the entity type that you want to create in this instance. Now open the file file is not shown by default so purely extend the view to show the model. This is the rendering of the STL file. The next step is to simply export this as a Nastran bulk data file or PDF. Now we are done with Mentats and you can close it. In Apex, import the exported PDF file. Remember to switch the units to the units that are anticipated in the STL file. In this case, the model was created using millimeter dimensions and I'm purely switching off the preview option so that I can import it directly into a single file. Now you can see that the file has been imported as a mesh body. The next step is to create geometry from this meshed body. And we do this by going to Geometry Tools, Geometry from Mesh. The first step is to select the body and press the middle mouse button. What we see here is only a preview of the anticipated end result. You can use these default settings to manipulate the, the result in terms of where features will be regarded as new features or facets and when they will be regarded as single features. The next option gives us the opportunity to eliminate some of the features. For instance, if we would like to suppress this edge and have a single face representing this face, we can simply select the edge middle mouse click and now we have a single face. This is an optional step. The last step is the important one. And this is where we need to click this create both faceted and nerves geometry option. This is the important step that will actually not only create faceted geometry that resembles the initial mesh, but also the solid type body. And since we are happy with the end result, we can click the apply button. What you should note now is the additional geometry entities that were added to the model tree. This is the original mesh, we can hide that one. And here is a faceted geometry from the mesh. This is not a solid and it consists of various facets, very similar to the original STL file. But the important bit is this solid over here. And the beauty of this solid is that we can edit it just like any other solid. For instance, we can modify uh, little features like this, uh, getting rid of small features that we would otherwise not be able to get rid of. Now we can see over here that this is a bit of a challenging body and it might take a few tries to get this feature resolved and there we got rid of that guy if we needed to we could also use the defeature tool to get rid of holes for instance if we needed to or features like that so now we have a proper solid that we can modify at will just like any other solid or created from an original STL or mesh file.